Hello! I have been sewing. I did sew doll stuff. I did finish the pair of obnoxious shorts with the cat prints for the child. He has several t-shirts with realistic cats on them, like one has cats floating through the cosmos on fidget spinners. So he has several options to wear with these. So that's another human sewing I got done. I finally sewed one of these circle skirts. She needs to be really strong. She usually just stands on her stand politely. It's whenever I try to move her that she fights. So there's a snap and back and a zipper. I had originally thought maybe I would just slash this and insert the zipper into the slash, but I couldn't figure out how to do that without having the bottom be like this folded over mess, which you can get away with on human size stuff. Hold on because the scale, but on dolls, it becomes a much larger lump relative to the whole garment. So, so there's a seam back here, but it was really easy to match because I just cut it. So that's done. I know I, st I still have this to do, but I have not had black thread in my sewing machine. I just, I go through these weird periods where I just, something about black thread I don't like. So I won't sew with black thread. And then I get over it and sew a bunch of black stuff. And then I get back to it. Like those cat shorts, one of the cats, one of the cats has a purple collar. So I decided to sew the shorts with purple thread. And I have done doll sewing. First thing, I finalized my witch hat pattern and prepped it and shared it. So it's on my sewing blog and on Flickr. I made this without interfacing. I really like it better when you inter put interfacing in the crown and in the brim, but I made this without interfacing just to show that you can make it with just cloth. It's held on with a pin. Another thing that you can do, which I for completely spaced about in the instructions because I've just gotten so used to pinning them to doll heads, is you can either try to maneuver it in place when you're top stitching around the crown or you can hand sew, like just tack two lengths of ribbon or some elastic, just hand tack that to the inside carefully and use that to hold on. So after I made this, I had to make a dress to match. This is Susan Cloth. So this doll, I know this doll came in bright blue, but her makeup I think really suits this purple with pinkish spots of cloth really nicely. So you know, we're moving that much closer to Halloween, so I thought it was a good time to share the witch hat. And then, you know, when I sewed this, I took the Blythe size motorcycle jacket I had and just kind of, as I was cutting out, added widths and lengths here or there to see to make it big enough for Barbie size. And it ends up being a little boxy, a little big, but okay. But it's a look, it's not the look I was going for, but I think it's an acceptable look. So I thought I would start again and just sew up my Blythe size motorcycle jacket just straight off the pattern. I did make one tiny change, but other than that, straight off the pattern. And I decided, I knew it would probably be okay because I've made stuff with this pattern in the past, although my sewing skills have increased marginally over the last however long it's been, so, and so little things, I figured there'd be little things that I would have problems with that I didn't have then that would bother me now, and there were, that's why I experimented with this. But I still decided that I would make it out of something wild just so that even if the construction on whatever I end up with wasn't great, then the look would be fine. So I had this thrifted, I can't remember if I thrifted it or if somebody else thrifted it and sent it to me, this like clone doll Barbie sized ball gown with this very 80s textured printed lame skirt. And I cut the skirt off and ironed it out and I knew I wanted to sew something from it but I wasn't sure what. Well, when, okay, this, this jacket, the motorcycle jacket pattern I have, technically it's blight size, but if you make the sleeves a little longer, it also fits Momoko. I had just enough of this 
cloned all ball gown skirt to make a jacket with blithe length sleeves. And that's this. So this one I made straight as the pattern. I made some alterations to the pattern after I sewed this before I sewed the next one that I will show you. So I mean I didn't I didn't want to use one of my precious few doll size separating zippers. So I just used some trim that has slight glitter to it. I thought maybe it could pass as a zipper with the shininess, but but not, but it's fine. So there's that. And I lined it with just the first lining I could find. And like I said, I noticed there were a few things I changed on this before I made the next one, but I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I'm just, I didn't have any Blythe or Skipper size dolls while I wanted to wear this. I did try it on Barbie body, which I forgot to bring over here. Hold on. Okay, here's how it fits on a Blythe body. You see, that's, that's how it fits. So I decided to see how far off it was on the Barbie body. So if I'm going to adapt this pattern to Barbie size, I would have a decent idea of what needed to be added to where and by how much. And to my surprise, it's not too bad a fit. I mean, the sleeves are obviously short, but it's not overall too bad a fit. It needs a little bit more width to it. Well, it needs the width redistributed. You see, if this zipper actually worked, it could zip at the bottom, but once you get up toward the bust, it's a little small. So it needs some width there, and it needs to change it so this side seam, seam gets moved back. So you add some width to the front and take it out of the back. And the sleeves, I think the shoulder width is okay, but I need to make the sleeve opening just a little bit bigger. There's a thread because I had to pick the sleeves out and re-sew them a few times. but make the sleeve just a touch wider so you could actually get another shirt under it and of course make them longer. But overall, I think I don't have too much to do to get this adapted to Barbie size. I mean, I know it could be longer. I like it waist length, so I would give, I mean, you'd have the option to just add width to it as you go. But the doll who ended up, I decided would wear it, at least for now, for the pictures I took is this Jenny, Takara Jenny, who I gave the fake fur bouffant to. And I didn't have a dress that I thought went really well with this jacket, so I sewed this really fast. This is a pattern I shared years ago I called the cloth and thread dress because there's no fastenings. It's wide enough to pull over the hips and then you just tie the back. I have seen some people have made this where they've actually looped the ties around and like tack them down so that the whole dress is just pull on without even need to tie, which is cool. So it's a, the sleeves are just a touch short on her, but I think with her, her whole um, style and attitude, it makes them look more like they're three quarter length than just too short. And yes, I did not iron this cloth before I made this dress. I made this dress so fast. So that's that. So I told you I made it because I wanted to get an idea how it would fit on a Barbie body, what I need to do to change. I also made it because I wanted to make a motorcycle jacket to put in the package of stuff I'm eventually going to send to John for John's Walk Through doll. And so that I made out of the iridescent drawstring bag that I bought last week. And you see, I did use one of my precious doll, roughly doll scale separating zippers. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Like I said, I made some alterations between this one and this one. Now this cloth, I don't know if I've ever worked with cloth quite like this before. So it has some um, quirks that I'm not used to. But overall, I think it turned out and I am really curious to see if John does put it on his Wataru or some other doll or what whenever I get his package to him. Now I did get a package for me, sort of. I did not do a box opening because most of the stuff in the package is actually for John. 
is sent by Ragamuffin Squad. Thank you. I have working on getting everything consolidated. I mean, we agreed since shipping to Australia is a little steep that heads can come off of bodies and things like that. So I've broken those down and so now I just need to sew and sew and sew and fill up the rest of this box with stuff for John. But Ragamuffin Squad did send a few things for me. We have some sparkly and spooky hair clips. Star Wars helmet. Barbie's bride friend Tracy's head. I had a Tracy when I was a kid. She had, I mean, I see this one too with the weird rooting. You see where the rooting starts and stops in this odd spot in the back of her head. The one I had as a kid had this huge scrape, like circular around her ear. So I guess Barbie's friend Tracy wasn't the highest quality doll of her time. And I can't tell. Do those pupils look different sizes to you? I can't really tell. But it will be fun to do things with this eventually. And also in the package was this great clone doll whose hair is for a clone doll. It's a little messy, but overall it's full and shiny. And I'm not even sure I've ever seen a clone doll with bangs this nice. And her eyes are painted pretty well. I might make them another color, but I'm not sure I would do much else to this doll. Well, her head. It would go on another body. Of course, I'm sure for now she's going to go into the box of... This is the box of, of bodies that are either being worked on or bodies that have no heads. This is the box uh, well, there are just body parts in here, but this is also the box of dolls that are okay as they are and I may or may not do something with them at some point. So she probably go in there. Let me see this. Clone doll solidarity in that box already. And also These sold out at my local stores really fast. The Mario stuff is there now, and Care Bears are just hanging around. I don't know if kids care about Care Bears or if it's only the adults who remember Care Bears who are buying Care Bears stuff for their dolls. So there's those. And I placed an order from the Wallach sewing site. Well, it's W-A-W-A-K. I'm not sure if you're even supposed to pronounce it or if you're supposed to say W-A-W-A-K. Wallach's kind of weird to say. I got, I, well, my black spool of heavier thread is getting noticeably low. Like I said, I go through phases where I don't want to sew a black thread, but then when I do want to sew a black thread, I sew everything with black thread. So I did another spool back there. I like this. This is Saba Tex 40. It's a little heavier than regular thread. And this spool, which has a thousand meters, a whole kilometer of thread on it, is normally a dollar ninety nine and it's on sale for a dollar sixty nine. So I could have gone overboard, but I have not a lot of room left on my thread rack, and I needed a more neutral. And then I realized I have like no orange. I have a tiny spool of really old fluorescent orange thread that would probably break if I tried to use it. So I got some orange thread, and I realized we're getting ready for Halloween, aren't we? And. Also, I was getting low on snaps to use for dolls, so I ordered one gross pair. I'm not, I couldn't tell if it was one gross total or one gross pairs. Yeah, but I think there's 288 pieces in here. So this should last me for a while in sewing snaps for dolls. Because like fastenings like this, I can do with the zipper or even sometimes I'll do with the hook and loop tape up so far, but then the top on the waistband just needs, needs a snap. But I hesitate to use snaps because in the past I've only ever gotten snaps. You know, you get a package of like 10 or 20 from the store, from the sewing store. But I decide to go all out. And hopefully one gross snaps will last me a while. And then finally, because I'm sewing, potentially sewing, 
doll motorcycle jackets. I need a more separating. I have a few doll size separating zippers left. They're almost all metal tooth, which are a little challenging to change the length of. Plus, I don't want to use them if I don't have my jacket pattern finalized. That's my excuse. So I wanted to order lightweight zippers that I could use for dolls. And there are sites that have them for okay prices, but not a lot of color selection. So I went to WowAc and looked at their zippers. I think, I think number three is a lightweight zipper, but their number three zippers had molded teeth, which are the teeth like this. They're actually, you know, cast pieces of plastic. As opposed to the lighter weight zippers where the coil looks like this and it's actually just, it's literally a coil, it's a, two spirals of plastic that interlock when the zip is pulled up and down. So I like using the coil zippers on doll clothes because by its very nature it is lighter weight than the molded plastic, but the zippers Wowak only had number five, which is a little heavier than the number three zippers in nylon coil. So instead of ordering the number three molded zippers, which Cosmo did, we'll see if, if he made the better choice, if his are actually gonna be better for doll clothes. He's also gonna be sewing for larger dolls, so it should work out. But so I ordered the number five separating zippers. If you ordered 10 or more, then it, they went down to like 98 cents each. And if you know anything about sewing, you know 98 cents for a zipper of any kind, let alone a separating zipper is a pretty good price. So I ended up going with natural. You know, there's nothing natural about plastic zippers. But this color is called natural because it seemed like it would be kind of neutral, especially if I make any more of these, which I have enough. My plan is to get the Barbie sized pattern worked out, make one of them in this for my dolls, and then make another one to sell, maybe. And then I should be out of that cloth, at least enough. For this. We'll see. So, this is a little heavier, I think, than I expected, but it should work, especially once. And I actually did that with this lighter weight zipper. You trim the zipper tape down so it's a lot more narrow and then it works okay in doll jackets. So I have plans. I have plans to make more clothes for the kiddo. I have plans to make more clothes for me. I have plans to work on this. I want to sew. I want to do a million things all at once, always, as usual. And I need to get the sewing for John. I have thank you sewing. I still want to do some sewing tutorials showing you how I sew things. Sew, sew, sew. Dolls. Mm. <laughs> or maybe I'll just get a book and read. I can't guarantee ever what I'm going to do. And I guess that's one of the reasons you come back to see what I'm going to do. And I am babbling now, so it's time to say goodbye. And thanks as always for watching.